Ever feel like you're drowning in open tabs and switching between a dozen apps just to get through your day? Whether you're a freelancer, developer or a part of a remote team, juggling multiple applications can be a nightmare for productivity. But what if you could bring all your favorite apps, Gmail, ChatGPT, WhatsApp, Canva, Slack and more into one unified workspace? Hey everyone, this is Sandeep here from 99signals.com and in this video, I'm going to talk about a tool called Rambox that can completely optimize your productivity. Rambox is the ultimate workspace organizer that lets you manage all your apps in one place, eliminating distractions and boosting efficiency. And the best part? It's currently available as a lifetime deal on AppSumo for just $19. Next up, I'll walk you through Rambox's key features, how to set it up and whether this tool is worth adding to your workflow. Stay tuned. Right, before we dive into the Rambox tutorial, let's quickly talk about the AppSumo deal on Rambox. You can get lifetime access to it for just $19. If you're an AppSumo Plus member, then you get an additional 10% discount on this Rambox deal. Uh, it's one of the cheapest deals on offer currently at AppSumo. Usually the sweet spot of all the deals that you find on AppSumo are between $49 to $79. But Rambox is available just for $19. So let's scroll down and see what's included in the Rambox deal. Uh, they're offering only one license tier on Rambox uh, and it's available for $19. You can keep Rambox active on up to three computers. Uh, you get one user license and you can have unlimited apps. So Rambox has over 700 pre-configured apps, but if you'd like to add a custom app, like if there is an app that is currently not available on Rambox, you can add it through a simple setting. So I'll give you a quick glimpse of all the apps that are available during the demo. And I'll also show you how you can add a custom app. So stay tuned. Now, if you compare the AppSumo deal with the current pricing of Rambox, uh, there is a lifetime deal that is available, but you have to pay $210 for it. And if you want to go with the monthly plan, then you would have to pay $7 every month to use Rambox Pro. With AppSumo, you can get all of these features uh, and you can get a lifetime deal for just $19. Rambox also has a free plan, but uh, it comes with a lot of limitations, as you can imagine. You can keep it active only on one computer and uh, you get only two instances per app and you can add only two custom apps. So if you want to try out Rambox before you buy the AppSumo deal, you can do so. You can try the free plan to see how it works. And then if you like it, then you can just grab this lifetime deal, which will be available on AppSumo until at least mid-April. So now that you know about the Rambox AppSumo deal and what's included, let's jump into a quick tutorial of Rambox. So once you've activated Rambox through the AppSumo code, you can download it in your system. Uh, you can download it on Mac or Windows or Linux. Once you've completed the download, you can install it in your system. And this is what the Rambox interface looks like. And this is how my workspace is organized. Uh, I have a personal workspace and I have a professional workspace. You can also add more workspaces here. But this is how I've organized all the apps uh, in Rambox. You can also have quick links to the different apps that you're using on the main menu on the left side. Or you can just install these apps under the different workspaces that you've created. So to add an app to Rambox, you have to click the plus button here. And it will first show you all the apps that are available at Rambox. You'll also find the most popular apps here. So this can give you quick access to the most popular apps. I'm assuming that these are most popular based on the number of downloads. And to make things even simpler, you'll find uh, apps under each category. So you have apps under accounting and finance. You can find uh, all the generative AI apps under blogging and writing. You have Gemini, you have ChatGPT, Cloud AI, Perplexity. Uh, you'll also find content creation apps like uh, Content Studio, Google Docs and uh, you also have WordPress. So if you want to use your CMS here, you can also activate WordPress on Rambox. You'll also find the most popular calendar and scheduling apps. And uh, you can browse through each of these categories to find the apps that you're looking for. Or you can simply give a search by clicking on all apps and then giving a search for the app that you're looking for. So let's say you use Buffer as your social scheduling platform. You can just type Buffer here and uh, you can just install it on Rambox. Now, if you click the plus icon here and then add an app, it'll be visible on the main menu. It'll be outside the workspace that you've created. But if you go to any of your workspace here, like the professional workspace, and then click on the add icon, that particular app will be added to your professional menu. So uh, that's how you can categorize all the apps that you're using. 
make sure that uh, it falls under the right category so if you're using gmail whatsapp uh, and instagram you would probably want that to be under your personal workspace but if you're using buffer semrush slack skype or canva you would probably want that to be uh, placed in your professional workspace i don't know why i mentioned skype uh, i know they're shutting down uh, in may and it's going to be replaced uh, by teams so i would probably have to add teams here now with all the apps that you're adding to rambox you would have to enter your login id and password if you use one password you can uh, just download an extension here you can go to the extensions option and uh, click on the gear icon and you can just enable that extension here so that uh, you don't have to uh, log into each app so one password can be enabled on rambox and then uh, if you have any password saved in one password you can uh, quickly log into all the apps that you're using in rambox so they have different kinds of useful extensions here they also have boomerang for gmail there is a dark mode uh, extension so if you want to change the theme of uh, rambox you can do that through an extension uh, they also have a google docs offline extension again very useful uh, they also have grammarly and uh, they also have the ublock ad blocker so if you use any of uh, these tools you can enable the extensions and you can optimize your workspace even more now like i said in the beginning they have like 700 apps here but you may not be able to find all the tools that you're using in rambox so in that case what you need to do is you need to add a custom app so in my case when i went to calendar and scheduling i couldn't find tidy cal here tidy cal is the default calendar app that i use and it's also an app sumo product so i was surprised not to find it here but i was able to add tidy cal as a custom app just by clicking here so you can find tidy cal here now the icon is also visible i was able to do that by just adding a custom app so if you want to add a custom app in rambox you can do that by just following these steps click on the add custom app button here and then enter the website url so i've entered se ranking here because that's an seo tool that's currently not available in rambox so once you've added the url you can also instruct rambox to fetch the logo and within just a few seconds it will fetch the logo for you and then you just have to select these options and then hit the add button and just like that a custom app will be added to rambox so you can add any website here any website that you use frequently any tool that you use in your business you can simply add it to your rambox and optimize your workflow you can also change the way rambox looks by just going to settings so you can select the theme here uh, if you want a darker theme you can just go with dark and then hit the save button and the rambox theme will change you can also change the density so right now i've selected compact but if you want larger icons you can go with uh, normal and the icons will appear to be a little larger and uh, you can also select uh, the comfortable setting wherein the apps will be even more prominent yeah that's how you can change the density and you can also change the apps position so by default they are on the left side but you can also place it on top or the right side or uh, at the bottom so you can tweak all of these settings here and you can also set up a download directory so anything that you're downloading from rambox you can uh, change the download directory for that so you can play around with all of these settings to make sure that you have an optimized workflow created on rambox now once you're done using rambox for the day all the apps in rambox wherever you've logged in will go into hibernation so if you want to deselect that option you can do that by going to the app and just selecting the option where it says don't hibernate this app but what you can do is anytime you log into rambox and go to a particular app that you want to use you can just hit the wake up button and you'll be logged in so that's how the hibernation setting works it's enabled by default but you can go to each app and uh, select a setting not to hibernate it and you'll be logged in into that app at all times so that was just a quick tutorial of how rambox works if you found it useful and if you think it can make a difference in your workflow and productivity you have the chance to grab a lifetime access to it at app sumo you can grab a lifetime access to it for just 19 dollars and like I said, this deal will be available at AppSumo until at least mid-April. And you'll find a link to the Rambox deal in the description of this video. So if you found the tutorial useful and if you think Rambox can really make a difference in your work, then you can go ahead and grab it at AppSumo. Thank you so much for watching this Rambox tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I'll be back very soon with a new video.